Hi folks, thanks a lot for tuning in to the Goalie Llamas channel. I really appreciate it when you hit that like button and when you hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out a lot. And if you like what you see, like and subscribe to my channel. And if you really don't like what I'm doing, don't worry about it. Hi folks. Welcome to the Goalie Llamas channel. Today we're going to talk about voltage for the electric XP 3.0 long range 48 volt 14 amp batteries. So for now we have some recommended voltage settings here. As you can see, 100% is 54.6, 80% is 51.0, 30%, 46.6, and 80 is the recommended storing for all kinds of lithium ion batteries if you're not going to use them for a long time. Charge them to 80, <clears throat> then you can safely leave them, and 30%. Uh, you really want to charge them back uh, at that point. So that's that chart. So what do we need in order to do this test? I have two of these uh, electric batteries here. Um, I keep one for a backup because I'm always over anal about having plenty of power on, power on hand. I ride my bike quite a lot and use it for all kinds of things. And I do not like to charge the battery inside the bike um, or store the battery inside the bike. Personal preference. You might always also notice that I have some Velcro strips on the battery on both sides. What this does is it keeps the battery from cascading out when you unfold the bike. Um, without the Velcro that thing comes flying right out of there and crashes down on this part of the battery right on the ground. I don't know if you've experienced that but I have. So I have these 10 pound Velcro strips that I bought off of Amazon and uh, yeah, they work good. Um, they suit the purpose. They also keep it from rattling around. But back to the voltage. So in order to measure the voltage and achieve the results we're looking for in that chart, um, I need a voltmeter, a multimeter. And what I have here is this one I bought from Amazon. It's the Astro AI True RMS 6000 Digital Multimeter. It was 35 bucks. It's a simple thing. Works really well for my purposes. And it's simple to use. <clears throat> On the batteries themselves, you can see, um, or hopefully you can see, I mean, I don't know how good this will be. There's a positive terminal on this end of the battery and there's a negative terminal here. So we'll be using those terminals <clears throat> to test the voltages. In order to really test the voltages you got to turn the batteries on. So you take the key. Right now it's in the the unload position, the little nub here is in. Turn the key until the nub comes popping out all the way and the key is running parallel to the battery body. I'll do that on both of them. And then the multimeter setup. You got your black probe that always plugs into this COM port. 
right here. Pop that on there. You get your red probe. That will plug in to this input port right here. And now the test. So in order to achieve this test, we need to put the red, the red probe on the positive terminal and the black probe on the negative. So you turn your multimeter to digital voltage reading, this V with the line and the three dots under it usually. You take your positive probe, put it on the positive terminal, negative probe on the negative terminal. And right now this battery is reading 46.18. On this particular battery, you do the same thing. Red on, red on positive, black on negative. And this one is 52.90, so that's like 90% charged. So I'm gonna be recharging this one. That is a simple way, using that chart, to know how much charge you have in your batteries because these batteries here they do not give you an indicator of how charged up they are the only way you can find that out is by putting them into the bike and turning on your display and I don't even think that is all that particularly accurate so how do I charge these? I have my Pecron power banks. I got three different ones. And I'm going to show you how I set that up right now. First I'm going to put this stuff away. And then I'm going to grab one of my power banks. The E1500 LFP. Don't hurt yourself, old man. Weighs about 50 pounds, but I can do it. So what I do is I take, I turn on the AC power on this power bank. Oh, this thing is so new, I haven't even peeled all the plastic covers off it yet. It's a new addition to my arsenal. And I plug this charging box, brick, whatever you want to call it, into one of the AC ports. And as you can see, there's a green light there indicating that electricity is coming from the battery into the brick. And then I go to one of my uh, electric batteries. There's a little barrel port acceptor right there. I take the other end of the cable from the charging brick. It's a little barrel connector. And I just plug it right in there. And as you can see, the indicator on the power brick is turned red. We're throwing out 103 watts into this particular battery. I think this might be the one that has the 52 amps in it. And as you can see, this battery bank is right around 79%. It's got about 10.5 hours left if I continue to use 103 watts. So there you have it folks. I hope you found this video useful. And just a note, I'm an Amazon associate and a Pecron affiliate. 
I'll put links to the products down below in the more information description section. And if you purchase any of the items that you see in this video using my links, uh, you'll be supporting a kind elderly gentleman on a fixed income. And I really appreciate you tuning in. So have a great rest of your night. Peace.